Sue Ellen. Rue Ellen. Are you Rue talking about my drinking problem again? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's you being you. She is a bit too subservient for my no, but liking, She's lovely. Darling. I've met her in real life. She's, she is lovely. She's lovely, that's great. Yeah. Uh, 25 years since Dallas, and before we talk to some of the stars from the past and stars of the future, remember this. Thought, we all thought yeah. he died, and but then there he was, he was back. Thankfully he had, and he is back. He's back to doing what Bobby did. It is the actor Patrick Duffy uh, playing Bobby. It is Jesse Metcalf, who's obviously playing the gardener, I would have thought, <laughs> um, <laughs> in there. And it is Julie Gonzalo, who's just obviously being magnificently beautiful and, and wonderful uh, in it all. Good, good seeing you. And it's, it is back from the dead. It's back out of the shower, the Literally. whole series. Yeah. Actually, Dallas never died. It's been amazing. The fan base has kept that show alive for the 25 years we were True. off the air. Yeah. There's been an absolute fever to bring the show back all those 25 that years. That makes and me feel so old. I know it. 25 you? years ago. Remember when this was black? <laughs> oh, you look yeah. great. Yeah. It's and still you, there, though. Did, you, yeah. always, <laughs> did you always hope or always think it would come back in some form? No, no to both of those. I, I think we felt we had bled out every conceivable storyline that you could possibly do in 13 years. And I didn't see how it could come back until Larry and Linda and I read Cynthia Sidra's script. And when we read the script, we called each other and said, Oh my God, we have to do it. You're an elder statesman. But you've handed the mantle over. Yes, absolutely. Tell, tell me about these guys. Well, the, the, interestingly, is when it was cast, and Larry and Linda and I found out who was playing all these parts. And it, we, we call them the four J's because it's Jesse, Josh, Jordana, and Julie, right? right. And I, I MDB'd them and I looked at all their pictures and I went, Gee, they're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, is, Does it go any farther than being pretty? Uh, and literally every single day on the set and uh, the time that we shot the 10 episodes, I was never surprised, but I was always amazed at the depth of the quality of the young actors on the show. So they are equal you, partners in this prospect yeah. of what well, Dallas Well, we met is. Jesse, I think, last year. Yeah. You were talking about something else, but Dallas had just come up and you were very excited mm -hmm. about it. You couldn't tell us a lot about it then, right. of course. Um, and so tell us who you play. What's your character? I play Christopher Ewing, the adopted son of Bobby and Pam. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of trying to move the family business in a, in a n new direction, you know, towards a you know, more eco-friendly, you know, renewable fossil fuels and away from drilling for oil. So that's not going to go down well, It's obviously. not going down well at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of, kind of the yeah. black sheep of the family in a way, yeah. considering that I'm adopted. You know, I'm constantly trying to prove myself as a, as a real Ewing. Yeah, and we, we've seen Christopher in the series before, of course. You that's know, right. But yeah. he's, not, he's not growing up. No. Julie, who do you play? Well, I uh, I start out by being his uh, fiance, which we get uh, we get married in the in the pilot. So I joined the Ewing family, and then all hell breaks loose. Oh, yes. <laughs> so you got to do the whole wedding frock and the whole wedding. We did, we did. Yeah. It was a it was a gr it was a beautiful day. We had the whole, everybody came out to the ranch to to be part of the wedding, and and it was awesome to be yeah. you yeah, know on. That, yeah, is it really still very um, is it still very windy at South Fork? Oh yeah. We remember it, a lot of those yes. breakfasts with the awnings. All Check the hair. And the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Not a hair there was always a fight among the cast members who gets to face into the wind. <laughs> because otherwise, it looks like this the whole time you're acting. Yeah. Do, do you film it in the same place? I was reading that you were going to Canada or something to film it. Well, they, they were having basically a, con a conflict as to where the location would be. But there's no other place you can film Dallas than mm -hmm. Dallas. And there's no mm -hmm. other place that will substitute for South Fork than mm -hmm. South Fork. So. And then what about you and JR, Bobby and JR? Because yeah. they were always fighting. They hated always each fighting. Other. But we're so old now, we just kind of. <laughs> yeah, when we leave it to yeah, these guys to do it. Really. I shouldn't be wearing Oh, you know what? I'm going to look like a ranger. <laughs> like, don't mess up my hair. No, no, it's not about the hair. It's about the size of the head. He's seven and three eighths. Head. I have a big head. You have seven head. and seven and three eighths. I'm seven and seven eighths. Well, he's bigger than you. And wow. he, now I'm proving it to you. <laughs> there it is. The perfect fit, don't you think? But, uh, but, uh, yeah. but a Stetson re head. really <laughs> is, uh, Patrick. I, it is a lovely thing to wear. It's something you can wear casually or something you can wear formally as well. Yeah, and Larry, as a, as a person as well as the actor on the show, as JR, wears a hat almost all the time. Mm -hmm. And half of the time, it's a, it's a very nice Western hat. You know, Stetson is the, it's sort of like saying Kleenex anymore. It, yeah. It's... Mm -hmm. it, it stands for all Western hats, but there's there's Stetson and Resistall, and mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it, are you from um, Are you from any sort of Western 
background at all, or were you born yeah. in the sea? Did you come out as <laughs> man from Atlantis? I thought I was born on a seahorse. Uh, on a sea so yeah. Uh, yeah, I was born and raised in Montana, you yeah. know, in, in oh, ranch yeah. country, and spent all my time. That's where that on, film, on The Horse Whisperer, is set, I think. Was that in Montana? In Montana? Yeah. Yeah. And so do you get to wear a Stetson or a big hat? Or a... Occasionally. Yeah. That's, that's not really the character, but occasionally I do. I mean, that, that's the great thing about this character. He has that duality of, like, the more intellectual kind of, you know, well-traveled anti-Ewing, yeah. and then he also has that cowboy side, because obviously Cause he was well, we raised had, Bobby's son, you know? We had, obviously, the, the, the relationship with JR and Bobby, brothers hated each other, and now you've got JR's son, um, who is played by Josh Henderson. So what's the relationship like with you two, then? Is it following in the... to say the least. You know, we're constantly at each other's throats, and... I mean, that's the great thing about this series is that it continued on in the same tradition that made the original series successful. You know, instead of the feuding brothers, now it's the feuding cousins. D does that mean are they are they are they like their dads, the, the sons? We 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 are. I mean, you know, yes. we're different in a lot of ways as well. I think there's a lot more gray area with the next generation characters. You know, I mean, Bobby was just so stalwart and and, and quintessentially good. He was and, a good right. person. Yeah. We loved him. You know, and yeah. and Jr. was mm. was was not evil. <laughs> you know, right. Julie, I, I always remember when when you look at, at women. Um, they were they were always tortured. There were, there were never very many happy women um, in the series at all. And I remember the the early series when Pam and Bobby they got married and they were all full of hope and they arrived right. back at South Fork and they think everybody's going to be happy for right. them, and they're not. Right. Will there be happiness in? your life or does that not make for good so well, I think that <laughs> <laughs> well I think that it wouldn't be Dallas if, if there there wasn't any of that I, I, I think that you know you you do kind of want them to be happy but there's always the, the like you said there's gray areas and now, there's I read that you your character has a dark secret we love a dark secret is that right she does she does yeah. and, and, and I think it's you see it throughout the season you, it, she develops more and, and, and you get more invested in, into what she's up to but you know right off the Bad. You know, she's she means well, and she's in love with with Christopher, and and yeah. And then she'll get a rude awakening when mm -hmm. she moves to mm -hmm. South. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I heard that weddings never end well yeah. <laughs> if you're married in yeah. South Fork. So it's the curse. Patrick it's the curse. Wedding curse. What what is ahead for these guys as they come into the the Ewing family and the Dallas well, family? I think that the. the the biggest transition is going to be, and, and it was funny because Josh Henderson had never been to the UK in his life, and he's here now. And he went out for a long walk, and he just walked everywhere, and he was in the crowd and everything. And I said, remember this moment, because it's yeah. never going to be the same again. This show has, uh, has a, a mythology that follows it. And anybody now, I think, who's on the show is just being dropped into the boiling water instantly. <laughs> it's not going to be this slow rise. Yeah. It's going to be instantaneous mm -hmm. Dallas. Well, well, we know this series has already launched in, in the U.S. It's been played yes. out in the U.S., which obviously yes. you can't tell us too much. You don't want to no. spoil it for us. So what about series two? Is there going to be a series two? We've been picked up for 15 episodes for the second That's season good. now, which is wonderful. So uh, I predict a nice long run for this show because it's done so well, and it, not by virtue of mm -hmm. you know just the acting, which I think is as good, if not better, than mm -hmm. the original series ever was but it's the writing and the scripts mm -hmm. and the plots and the everything well, we can't wait Enjoy to see it, all. it you're gonna have soon. a big launch party tomorrow yeah. night i think y'all um, come y'all come can i say you, we'll look see you, on you look fantastic i do don't years I? Old. you do yeah. <laughs> tell don't, me don't what cream you're using <laughs> 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 you won't be able to fit into that now Thank you so much. Great oh. to see you. We look forward to it. Channel Thanks 5 soon. coming soon. That's all I can tell you. But yeah, as soon as we soon. get a date. Coming soon in September. We can say September. Coming soon in September. Yeah. Thank five. you very much. Lovely. Uh, and now we've got coming soon Caroline Flack, straight after the break, actually, with X Factor Gossip. Uh, first, though, how <gasps> do you fancy... Do you like X Factor? <gasps> it's good, isn't no, it? No, I just have a, something yeah. like that. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll do that this again when you see you. the competition. Yeah, £30,000 in your bank account. Not <gasps> only that. Yeah, not only that. There's more gasping because we've got a brand new mini car <gasps> and a holiday of a lifetime. <gasps> Can't be yours, but it could be yours. It was brilliant chatting to Patrick Duffy. Wasn't it? There. Didn't he look yeah. great? Fantastic. He looks amazing. Yeah. And the only man you've ever met who has a bigger head than me. Bigger head is as bigger than yours. Seven and seven eighths. Seven and seven eighths. How about that, girls? Four eighths. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. X Factor, now, Tears and yes. Tantrums, and all the rest to the start of the new series. I'll probably break down and cry. I wanted to fall asleep. I'm gonna start a fight. 
Cheers. There's the talent. Did you see that? Oh, We've got the extra factors. That? Caroline Flack. Good seeing you, Caroline. Hello. How exciting that it's back I already. Yeah. And everything, is, as usual, everything was in there, wasn't Every it? Every single emotion was in there. We cried, we laughed. There was nearly a fight. I know. Uh, so, yeah, it was well, a great come uh, to her episode. And by the sound of you, you've tried to sing a lot over the weekend <laughs> uh, as well. That's exactly why I've lost my voice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been singing okay. too much. Uh, new judge. New judge. We've got Nicole. a new judge, Nicole yeah. Scherzinger, who's joined the panel. Um, and she's lovely. She's obviously she's this huge, very glamorous, international super down to earth personality. Cheryl esque, empathetic view. With, she lets them down very gently, let's just say. She it came in here when she was in the Pussycat Dolls, and she's got one of those faces. Just real. Flawlessly beautiful. Yeah, she doesn't yeah, look Sometimes real. I just really want to get her hair and just yeah. scruff <laughs> it up a little bit. Just go like not that. just her face, she can't stop looking at, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> Mel B. Now, Mel B's the Meanie. Well, I didn't realise how mean she was going to be, but she totally lived up to her name. I called it honest, not mean. Well, I thought she, she was quite honest. She was very honest, but it was um, very blunt, very straight to the point, but she totally became scary spice let's, once again. Let's have a look at her being scary. I found it all a little bit irritating. Maria, I'm going to give you a big reality check. You should not be singing. Find something else to do. The dance routine was lazy and sloppy, and one of you were doing it half assed Can we do another song? No. You look like a pop star. Thank you. You don't sound like one. That was a bit harsh, Mel. <sighs> <laughs> now, you see, people are saying, oh, she's mean, and obviously they put all that together. It, it appears to be quite mean. I thought a lot of the time she was quite honest, and also, what's the point of telling somebody they're really good when they're not? Is she, is she not kind of yeah, absolutely. letting I think them opinions down? were completely divided over her. Um, but you really saw her change when she saw Ella, who sang last, yeah. and you saw this suddenly this very emotional mm. Mel come across, and she was just looking for that one performance that really got to her, and I think Which she definitely found it. Which I suppose, if she's critical of everyone else, then when she does... I guess I'm just lost my husband, I don't know where he went. I'm not gonna pay his more two that I wanna wear tonight. I'm gonna get in trouble, I'm gonna start a fight. I'm gonna start a fight. We're all gonna get in a fight, so it's so what? I'm still a rock star. I got my rock moves, and I don't need it. Guess what? So I can confirm that that's definitely not that's Ella. Definitely not Ella. That's We're so coming to Ella. Alexander, and she didn't take it very well when they told her that she wasn't making it through to boot camp. Not very well. She went mental. She went a little bit mental. And it was very odd because I spoke to her before they told her. Here we go. We, I, want to be, I wanted to be me. You we, guys told me. Back inside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Yeah, and like... I can confirm, you do get given five song options to sing. No one tells you what to sing. I spoke to her about two minutes before she went on that stage. She was very happy singing a pink song. But also, they gave her the opportunity to not sing a pink song. Absolutely. She still wasn't very good. They gave so... her a second song. She obviously didn't cut it. She didn't get through. And, you know, people get knocked back all the time. You don't react like that. But well, did. who did get through, of course, was the lovely, gorgeous, talented, beautiful Ella. Let's have a look at her. And uh, this is the bit we should have shown you a minute ago. I should sure hit a chord with Well, you see, along comes that special sort of talent and it humbles everybody and everybody was very quiet and you know you're in the presence of greatness. So, how was the whole thing for you? I think the whole thing was just overwhelming and the reaction I got, um, totally unexpected it all. Um, I'm tr still trying to find a way of just okay. accepting it, all the compliments that I've been given. Well, we're going to get lots more compliments for you and questions and queries, finding out who you are. Ella's going to go into the hub uh, after the news and Caroline will be in there as well with her and uh, taking your queries and comments about X Factor. For the moment, guys, thank you very much indeed. Okay, and we'll be back straight after this short news break. Don't go away.